So you cannot be about bodies or human beings. It's about the resources of humans. Okay. Uh, good morning. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. So the conversation I want to set up, I can talk about it for weeks. <laughs> so I will go to the kernel of it. Finding and keeping a great job. Instead, I'll tell you the story of resource called humans. The resource called humans. I think, I see, I observe that organizations, employers are looking for resource called humans. Quickly, I observe that a lot of times what is common is underrated or undervalued. Take water, take air. Uh, we have grown so used to breathing that we do not know that in about three to four minutes, without the ability to breathe, one has lost his life. Take the ubiquitous nature of water. And fella said, what did he say about water again? <laughs> yeah. Take a department that I think a number of you are familiar with, it's called Human Resources. Have we heard of them before? We know them, so they are common, they are, you know. Um, some remember them as the people who hire. Well, let's just stick to hire. <laughs> but lesser known are the resource called humans, or human as resources, just as we know about natural resources and mineral resources. Of all the resources possible, human resources represents that resource of infinite value, that resource that cannot finish everywhere in the world. I even saw that of the top 10 most cap com companies in the world, market capitalization, I think only about one of them has any business with a resource other than human resource. So, much as it is known, <laughs> maybe it has become on the value of the written. And if you are looking to find that job, or to keep that great job, I observe that organizations are looking for resource for humans. And to paint the picture, the picture that comes to mind that will definitely resonate with you is, the picture of the total soldier you see in many movies. Uh, Vin Jinsu represents that. Anybody know Vin Jinsu? Sure, man. Yeah. John Statham, anybody knows him? Sure, man. These people can swim, they can fly, they can ride a boat, they can ride a plane, they can sometimes speak many languages. They bring multiple streams of skills to any and every situation. They bring multiple streams of value to any and every situation. They just seem to, it does not matter what the situation is. They themselves are lethal enough to match the situation. Sometimes you feel that or you observe that they are their wits end. They, there's nothing they can do, but there is always something. And that, that's a picture that comes to mind when I think about the resource for humans. You, you might want to call it human resources. And that's a picture in the 21st century that I see in finding or keeping your job. These people bring multiple streams of value. They bring multiple streams of skills. They also are quick to detect and resist a few things I call SLDs, Success Limiting Disease. We don't have time, we won't get into it, but I'll, I'll, I'll mention one quick. Excuses. There are always going to be enough excuses, you want to call them reasons, why you cannot be, why you cannot have, why you cannot do what you would wish to do, what you would wish to be. There will always be. 
But these resource calls, you might speak to detect it. And that is the thinking and the type of action we need to bring in getting that job and in keeping it. Or in what I would like to call in raising your employability quotient. It is to think and to act as a resource consumer. So keep that picture in mind of those total soldiers. That when they are dropped on an island, they will create value out of it. They'll find their way through it. Keep that picture in mind. And then a question quickly comes. What specific things would you be love to do or should you do? How should you think to be able to deploy yourself as a resource consumer? Organizations are no longer looking for human beings. <laughs> I mean, they were, I mean, look at this lot. They were about seven, eight billion. Yeah? China and Nigeria are helping those numbers actively every day, yes? So if it was about numbers, the world will not have the challenges it is having. Yeah? Does that logic make some sense? Yes, yeah, because we have these numbers. And you don't need to go too far. There's a country you are all familiar with. I've heard them being called the giant of Africa. I perceive that that has something to do with no main numbers and less of the value they have brought. Nigeria. Yeah? Anybody? <laughs> so it cannot be about bodies or human beings. It's about the resource called humans. And I'm giving you the picture. So a few tips quickly. For sake of time, how do I deploy myself as a resource called human to get into a job, <laughs> to keep the job, and employability in the simplest, the ability to weave around as your career demands? Number one, take 100% responsibility for your life. What did I say? Please help me. 100% responsibility for your life. The economic indices, which Audrey knows a lot about, may be unfavorable, but do what? Do what? Take 100% responsibility for your life. It does not take, you don't have to be a genius to find reasons or explanations for the delta between where you wish to be and where you are. Anybody can find reasons. So take 100% responsibility. Number two, make success your tribe. Make what? Success your tribe. Several things you need to do. Just make success your tribe. Look for people who are legitimately doing stuff. Associate with success. I, I, I learned that early in my career. I'm still very young man, so I'm still learning as I go. Associate higher up, associate with people. It is comfortable to associate with the people that <laughs> their, um, their dreams, their status seems to resonate with you. When it takes a certain type of person, I mean, I remember listening to Cosmos Maduka quickly saying once in a CD how, and I'm not recommending this, I'm only telling you what Cosmos Maduka did, yeah? Is it okay? how his mom used to claim that he's, because he, he has this habit of speaking about the future he wants. And the mom felt that he had been successful enough and says, oh God, you are too boastful. And that they were in the car one day. And he said that, she said to him that, look, if you say these things about this future again, if you, if you can pack, I'll get that. He packed, she got that, he drove off. I thought, whoa. He was so impassioned by the success of the future that he saw clearly. He preferred to have success as a track. Number three, develop stamina. What did I say, ladies and gentlemen? Develop stamina. Focus on two areas of stamina. Relational stamina. Intellectual stamina. For intellectual stamina, I've learned your peers, I've learned around you. Listen to me. If all the schooling you have is the one that the school system, the Ministry of Education, <laughs> designed for you to have, you are the answer. 
I'll say that again so that you don't think I was, uh, it was said in error. If all the learning and the schooling you have for your dreams and your vision is the one that has been prescribed 30, 40 years ago, I think you are behind. You are so, so behind. It's scary. So I've learned, I've learned and I've learned. That's part of developing what? Who's following? Yes, which of the stamina by the way? Intellectual stamina. That's part of developing intellectual stamina. Make read and research. It's a good thing to have Google and it's a very bad thing to have Google. Because Google suggests that the information is available. Listen, that information is available does not mean you have the information. And that is the challenge we have in this time. It is available, but the homes of us are working past, busy with other things. Yeah? Relational stamina. Make friends. Be, fre be friendable. Pardon the French. Make friends. Keep relationships. I notice, and I don't know if you have noticed, we're very religious around town. I notice that we believe God will help us. And He does all the time. Have you noticed that it is human beings He uses? Has anyone noticed? Yes. <laughs> I took note. I just want to show you are taking notes as well. Human beings. Someone makes a recommendation. So build people as an asset in life. Everywhere you go. As much as it depends on you, build relational assets. Next is express yourself. What did I say, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you. Express yourself everywhere you go. Now, I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about you. Express yourself everywhere you go. Express yourself. Drop your signature. Into, into and on top of everything. I found that years ago in my foray in advertising and marketing, some things I've always interested in, that advertising is good. Oh, advertising is very bad. <laughs> For the worst thing you can do to a product or a service is to advertise when it's not ready. So I feel that a lot of us should be at home preparing, developing stamina. So that every time you step out and have interaction with people, you, you create an impression that is useful and valuable. So everywhere you go, express yourself. Put your signature down on those things. What about your hands finds to do? Impress upon it your signature of who you are. And someone say you is your own uniqueness. Volunteer yourself all over the place. Distribute those skills you have as a bit to serve assist, as a bit to as a as a strike for getting into a job. Alright? Express yourself through hard work. I know there's something they call smart work. See, that's another conversation. Hard work. There is dignity in labor. Oh, we are not supposed to say that anymore. <laughs> there is dignity in labor. There's a proverb, one of the few ones I know from my language in Benin, that the person that stays at home is the one who separates. No, not even fight to that be good. Who separates chicken? when they are fighting. <laughs> Every time I think about that program, I'm wondering whoever had that inspiration is wicked. <laughs> and you see the picture you have, that the person that says that is what? So you are not even separating the uh, US and Iran, which is a huge conversation we should get involved in, yeah? And there are other things we should separate in this country, but we are not even doing that. You are doing what? Chicken. So there is a dignity with going out. Express yourself everywhere. What do I have to do? Somebody say, excuse me, sir. I've not found something to do. Find it and put your hand into it. Express yourself creatively and innovatively. Because we're already too many people, by the way. 
we have 130, 140 million. That's a lot of people. You cannot be like the next person. No! It's a recipe for ending <laughs> nowhere. Express yourself creatively and innovatively. What else can I add to this? Like I said, we don't have time. I would have told you my resume development or creation process. One that I came up with years ago. Like years ago, no years is longer than a year, really long ago. But I don't seem to perceive that quality of creativity with some of the younger folks leaving school. I don't, you know, maybe I should look a bit better. So express yourself what? Creatively and innovatively. Creatively and innovatively. Express yourself excessively. Make it your nature to go the extra mile. What you, you know, <laughs> I see one huge lie around town. Some people come to a job and as far as they are concerned, they are working for the boss they have then or they are working for that organization. It's a lie. And the devil is one telling that lie personally. We employ ourselves into organizations. We are parties in interest. So some people want to deploy themselves in comment, at a commensurate to what they earn or how they are appreciated. Excuse me, Elena. <laughs> in this day, make going the extra by your nature. You will find it down the road as an asset at several levels. I'll give you examples if I time. So that is expressing yourself. Lastly, market yourself. What did I say? Market yourself. Online, offline, and on the job. Market yourself. Online, offline, and on the job. Online, offline, and on the job. There are several tools we, we, you can use, like having a great resume. Uh, excuse me, sir. Are you saying just having a resume would you know? That's why I've said several, several things. But having a great resume helps you to market yourself. See where we are, I've gone from and I've gotten here. Developing a deliberate online presence is so key. Make Google your resume. So if you are Google today, which I had the, the misfortune, fortune over 10 years ago to mistakenly do. <laughs> So if you are Google today, what will be the resume that you will, they will find there? So market yourself online, offline. When you have, go to LinkedIn, develop a deliberate presence. Look for people in the areas you wish to go to or be in. Connect yourself deliberately. And I have stories along all this path, but we don't have time. Lastly, start. Tell someone start. No, 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 no. Be kind. Tell another person. Start. Start with what you have. Start with what? You have. Start where you are. Start with what you have. Yes. Yeah. Start where you are. Start with what you can get. Start with what? What you, what you can get. What's the first one? Help. Second. Third. Lastly, start now. Thank you.